top of that one maybe. Okay, this is the auxiliary air regulator, and that is located right here. You can see just the top of it with the hoses attached. And that increases or decreases the speed of the idle cold. All it basically has inside of it is a kind of a camera eye aperture inside, which opens and closes a vacuum leak. It's an induced vacuum leak between the outboard side of the throttle plate and the inboard side. <clears throat> it just sort of steps on the throttle a little bit for you. Testing this, the first thing to do is to go ahead and pull the two screws which hold this down. And either they're a Phillips head or they're a 10 millimeter, either one. They may be very tight, but they will come off. The next thing to do is once you get this in your hand, disconnect the electrical connection and the two hoses that come from it. There's no, no other hoses, there's no liquid in, involved. It's all just air. Grab a hold of this, of the, pla of the plastic metallic connection right here. A lot of the early ones like to come loose. And when they did, this fell out. And there was no way to index it again and make it work. I've never seen one that once it fell out that ever worked properly again. If it's loose, discard it and get another one. If the contacts, again, it's just like any injector contact, it needs to be cleaned if it has a problem. This just basically has a little heater inside of here that increases and decreases a spring uh, position, opening and closing this aperture, allowing air to bypass cold and shutting it off when it gets hot. It takes about three minutes for that to fully operate. So if, if you're having a problem when the engine's hot, don't look to this. This little girl here does nothing except do something when it's cold. So that's not your problem in a hot run situation, unless it doesn't close properly. And then I would... Can you blow through it or anything and test it out? Or you can blow air through it at all times. Okay. There, are, there are a little bit of a leak at all times. Okay. Can you put juice across the terminals to, to make yes. it close or open or anything like that to test it out? Yes, and this one here was 61 ohm. You can test this across there and it should show uh, an ohm's resistance. If it's a full open, in other words, it, it appears that the wires are broken internally, uh, it would indicate a bad one. If it is uh, shorted out and you have a complete short to ground inter internally, that would tell you if, you if you could test from either terminal to, to the chassis of the body of the unit, if it shows that there is continuity there, uh, then you're going to want to take and throw it away. These wi this wire goes in, makes a winding and a coil, and comes back out. So it's, it's a straight in, straight out deal. These you can put, pass air through. I don't know if you can see the light shining down through there right now, but they're always open. The, to make these shut off a little sooner, they added a water-heated choke stove, we called it. I, it. It doesn't have a choke per se, but it's a little stove that mounted underneath this and was fed by hot water to keep this constant temperature and the later model cars have it on it. And you'll see two water hoses, 5 16 and 3 8 a little 90 degree elbow and then another one that goes over and circulates water from the cooling system up underneath here to keep this a constant temperature.